In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to close the espresso bar area, okay? First, what you'll do, and these are things that you can do even before we close, during the last hour of the day or so, you can go in and wipe down the outside of the machine with a towel, with some hot water, or just a wet towel. And we're gonna be wiping down the front and underneath here. It's important that we get underneath because milk splashes up in there and it will build up. Wipe the tops of the machine around the ledges and around the sides and underneath the machine as well to ensure that it stays clean. Okay. So we're gonna get a brand new towel and we're gonna wipe down the front of it. Very simple. Underneath, on top. Look all right. Okay. And that comes off, wipe in there. You'll see a coffee's been built up through the day. And under here, it doesn't take too long. It's not hard. Okay. And on this thing, you're gonna make sure this is clean. You wanna take this off. We're gonna soak this in some water. Okay, I'm going to fill that up with water. To make sure around in here there's no crusty milk built up under here. Wipe this down. And we're going to wipe the top of the machine. Okay, so I got my pitcher full of water. And I put that spray head in there to soak. I'm going to put that in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this off. See this comes off. We're going to take that back to the kitchen. We're going to wash it and bring it back. Okay, while, while, while that's being washed, we're going to clean out the inside of it. We're going to use the uh, barista brush, which is located in this drawer over here. It's where we keep all our cleaning tools, Where did that thing go? I just had it. There we go. So this is the barista brush, we call it. What you're just gonna do is you turn the hot water on here. It's coming on. Wanna brush out any milk buildup, coffee buildup around the rim here. Throughout the day, you'll see here the milk has built up. And just push it in there. And not too hard, it's all loose stuff, nothing that requires a lot of energy. You just want to make sure it's all cleaned out there so it doesn't sit there all night and get stinky and gross. Okay, once you brush that out, you can simply pour some water in there, rinse it out. Okay. Put that back in there. So you rinse it out, making sure there's it's draining, if there's any coffee grounds built up in there, you might want to take the vacuum and, and vacuum any coffee grounds that are in there. The same vacuum that we use to uh, vacuum out the pastry case. Okay, then what you're going to do is you're going to pull this out and you're going to dump out any coffee in there. Put it right in the garbage there. And you'll see in there, what we're going to do in there So we've, we've washed this now, we're putting it back. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this brush here, this long one with the angle, and we're gonna get any coffee grounds that may have fallen in there throughout the day. Also, we're gonna go and brush off any coffee grounds that might be sitting on the machine equipment. Very gently, it's delicate equipment in there. We don't wanna damage anything. And then if there's spilled milk or water in there as there is now, you just simply take a towel, wipe it up, okay, so now it's all wiped up. You're going to take this drawer and we're going to wash it and bring it back, okay, then What I like to do is picture 
I'll put it in there and I'll, I'll run it so the water gets hot. So now we've washed the drawer. We're putting that back. And we leave that like that soaking overnight so the nozzle gets a chance to soak and, and clean out anything in there. Now we're almost done. The rest of it is really simple. What you'll do is you'll come over here and you'll press the cleaning cycle button. You'll press that. You'll see here this says cleaning program, remove container. What that's saying, it's just telling you to clean this out, which we already did. So we just open it and close it again. Then it says, then it'll say, okay, after you remove it, it'll say use brush. So that's telling you to brush it out like I showed you. And then finally it'll say insert tablet. What that means is that we have to put one of these tablets located in this drawer and we'll simply just open this up. It's uh, cleaning tablets, Puro. Simply open it up. We're going to take one tablet out. See that? That's all it takes. And we're going to insert this tablet into an area here on top of the machine. You'll see a little compartment that opens up. Drop that capsule right in there. Once you've done that, you go back over to the control panel and press cleaning program again. And from there, the machine will do the rest. You'll see here cleaning program selection lock. So you won't be able to use the machine for about 10 minutes. And then you'll see it running some cycles. So you'll see the soap coming out of it. And eventually pure clean water will be coming out of it. And you'll, you're done cleaning the machine. Okay, the next area is simply wiping around the machine, making sure you wipe off any spilled milk or beans underneath. We'll go over here, we're gonna put this stuff away. You'll see here we have our milk on the ice bucket. So we're gonna take all these and we're gonna put them in the refrigerator as they can fit. Either you can fit them in our barista refrigerator here and it's okay to put them in there. They're only temporarily in there overnight. If there's no room, you can always bring those back to the back refrigerator there, our main refrigerator. But oftentimes you can fit everything you need in here. And again, we're gonna do this with, with everything in the ice bucket here. We're gonna take everything out, put it in the refrigerator for the night. Making sure things are closed, the lids are on tight so they don't spill. Checking lids. Okay. Put everything out almost. A whipped cream. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this to put on anything else that you need to bring to the kitchen to wash. We're gonna put our tools back into the drawer when we're done with them. And then we're gonna put back our cleaning pills. Okay, and then we take this, bring it to the back sink, and we're gonna wash everything that needs to be washed. Over here, we're gonna make sure things are all closed off for the night. There's our white chocolate. We're gonna make sure that lid's on. Okay, and then we're gonna wipe down the area. We're gonna take our chocolate back. The chocolate doesn't stay back. This is our own homemade chocolate. Put that back in the back refrigerator because there, there's no room in this one for, for that for container. So that leaves us here with an empty counter. Now at this point, what you're gonna do is make sure everything's closed. You're gonna wipe everything down. And make sure there's no syrup residue on the back here. Again, there's a sink. You can go rinse this out. everything down even behind things and then I'm going to organize things this caramel and the honey can stay out and we're going to wipe down the remaining area of the counter and then over here you're going to see the dipper well here this is what we do we're going to pull the plug on this one drain the water we're going to take these tools back and wash them those go the tools go back and get washed and then in this 
area, we just we wipe out the edges, wipe up under here, wipe up around here, wipe up in there, and make sure it's all wiped up nicely there. Then we're just gonna simply let it rinse off. We can pour uh, some water in there, but in here under this edge here, it's really important because you'll get some build up there. Outside of it looks good. Underneath, looking good. And then what I'll do is I'll take some water and pour it in there, rinse it out. Okay, make sure it's rinsed out. Make sure the water's turned off, turning the little spigot down here. Wipe it all off in there. And any lids that you can save that haven't been used, try to save them, put them back and let them dry out. We'll use them in the morning. It's, it's better than wasting plastic. And wiped everything down. Looks, looks pretty good, huh? Down here, you'll see some bags. Make sure the bags are closed up for the night. All right, so see how nice that looks? That's how you close the barista station at the end of the night. I just showed you how to close the barista station. We talked about cleaning the espresso machine, putting things away, wiping things down and around underneath things, cleaning the dipper well. And I hope that helps. Thanks for listening.